Um, going back to the right back to um mm-hmm. the beginning and talking about transhumanism and all of that, um, I found it quite interesting because I read Homo Deus by um, oh, what's it called again? Yeah. Yes, yeah, absolutely, and um. He was talking about how it's interesting with um, people of my generation that we kind of expect there to be no privacy online and um, Mm -hmm. and how it's just like, oh, yeah, you're online. They're selling your data. It's not a surprise. You know, anyone who's shocked by that is an older generation, Mm -hmm. whereas it's kind of a given if you've been brought up with the Internet that, oh, yeah, like I know that everything that I put online every photo I take with my phone someone else somewhere around the world will probably be able to see it if they really wanted to but you kind of get this level of I don't care because it's like everything's online so there aren't any secrets everything is transparent um and I, I thought that that's quite interesting in relation to transhumanism um whether in the future with future generations and stuff that what we considered oh like a body is something that's private like Mm. visually i think and aesthetically all of that in terms of photos and stuff i think people of my generation don't care that much but i wonder whether future generations will in a similar way about privacy not care about things like um getting implants done and it will just Mm. become something that's very casual. I I think that's quite true. Uh, A lot of it depends on how dependent are you on it. Mm. We live in a culture that doesn't think honor is a super important thing. Mm. But you have, if you go back to the Middle Ages, you have people killing for honor. Indeed, Mm. in some societies and cultures, honor is still a big deal. And in fact, uh, us in liberal Western culture, we kind of look down on them a little bit for that. So when there is a killing among uh, gang members in Los Angeles, uh, we start, we talk about, oh yes, the honor culture among young males uh, with no legal protections, etc. So that is something that honor becomes less important uh, in that sense if your success in life is no longer dependent on just showing that your biggest, baddest and your word is uh, law. Mm. If you have good police forces and the uh, rule of law, then you actually don't need honor too much. You might still yeah. want other forms of honor, like my honor as a scholar or your honor as an artist and curator, but they are kind of more particular ones. And I do think that changes in technology might really change even profound stuff. Mm. So Charles Strauss' uh, novel Accelerando, in the last chapter there, uh, there is some disturbing imagery, which I think is right on on target. Some kids in a post-human society are playing games, mm. and it's absolutely bloody. They're killing, they're killing each other, except, of course, that when mom calls them to say that dinner is ready and they will go home. Because, of course, yes, you can splatter your friend's body, but that doesn't matter, because you can always get print a new one. Ah, that's quite funny. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. for us, of course, harming anybody's body is really dangerous yeah. because, well, it's both a transgression against their integrity and uh, their autonomy, and it can even end them. Mm. But if you always have a backup, if uh, mom will print you out a body and maybe give you a scolding for having wasted a really good body, <laughs> well, in that case, um, uh, it's kind of pointless uh, to be too worried about bodies. 